Today, the city of Janesville announced it would be getting a grant for $500,000 to redevelop the former General Motors plant. The money will help tear down the facility and also remove asbestos from the buildings. Our Rock County reporter Adam Duxter shows us how demolition is going so far and the impact it's having for people who used to work there. As nearly a century of Janesville history comes down behind me, community leaders are excited about what could be done with this site in years to come. I didn't think the city was going to recover as well as it did. Janesville's General Motors plant made cars, trucks, and tractors for almost 90 years. Lloyd Duncan was there for 40 of them. I met my wife, you know, had kids, uh, graduations, baptisms, everything. My whole life revolves around GM, you know. And now those memories are coming down. It's bittersweet. There's sadness in it. You say, I hate to see the plant go, but it is an old facility, a really old facility. And to uh, keep modernizing it is probably costing GM more than it would be tear it down and build a new one. And he's not alone in that feeling. This is sort of a bittersweet moment for people in the Janesville and surrounding area. Many of us have ties to this business, have for many years. We, almost everyone in this area, has a family member or relative who worked here. Today, the city of Janesville was given a $500,000 grant to help with the demolition process. In the future, something else will stand here. And for even the most seasoned General Motors employee, that's not such a bad thing. But then after that, you know, I, I got over it, and uh, okay, it's it's time for something to move on. Time for this something different to come. CDC officials say that 90 to 95 percent of the materials behind me will be reused or recycled. Reporting in Janesville, Adam Duxter, WISC News 3. The demolition of the GM plant is slated to go through June of 2020.